if we give the state more authority than God has given it, I think we are making a theological error. They believe that our rights as Americans, as all human beings, don't come from any earthly authority. They don't come from Congress. They don't come from the Supreme Court. They come from God. God established the church and the state as distinct entities. The distinction between church and state should give us a lot of pause of calling a state Christian. Faith leaders are speaking out on what they say are the dangers of Christian nationalism. Which Christianity? Christianity is two billion people across the world. It's a very diverse religion. We have a set of doctrinal teachings which Christians share convictions about. Maybe you should think of wokeness as ultra-Christianity or hyper-Christianity. As the state and the church merge together too closely, those religious practices of the state start to feel like they're Christian rituals when they're really not. We're getting the downstream effect of whomever the political machinery puts in front of us. And so we don't really have that much of a choice at the end of the day. The way we use language often shapes the way we see the world. We want to make sure that as we're talking about um, the church and the nation that we exist in, that we keep our language straight.